Mario 1.4 introduces the Triplanar Shader module, a module designed to make texturing objects such as this one much, much easier. Now obviously to texture up this army case with our lovely camouflage texture, you're going to want to texture the top, the front, and the side. However, if you do this in a projection paint system, you're obviously going to see a lot of stretching, and it's not going to give you a lot of control should you want to change that texture later on down the line. Now the Triplanar module overcomes this by giving you control over the front, top, and side image directly within the shader module itself. So you can, of course, choose a different image for each of these orthographical projections. However, in this case, I'm using the same image for each one. And within that, we get control over different aspects, such as the repetition of the texture, the rotation of the texture, the offset or translation, the scale of the texture, and probably most importantly, the most intelligent part of this shader module is the fact that we control the fall off. So where the side rolls into the top and where the top would roll into the front. So we don't see any hard edges along the side of these projections, we get this nice fall off so it looks like a continuous texture running across the whole object. And of course, because this is a live shader, it's very easy to go in and update these images. So for instance, I could come and hover over the viewport. I'm going to hold down my L key to bring up my image palette. I'm going to grab my bottom camouflage and drag it just over the top of this thumbnail, which will replace it. Now at this point, I can very easily, just by clicking and dragging, swap out the other two projections as well, and we've completely changed the design. On top of this, at the very bottom of the triplanar shader, we have a blend mode, meaning that we can use this to affect existing diffuse layers within our shader too. Finally, on top of all of the goodness that is the triplanar shader, we of course also have a masked version as well. So that is the brand new, extremely powerful triplanar shader in Mari 1.4.